Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today we are reacting to the Apex Legends Evolution Collection Event Trailer. Checking out the patch notes. I'm probably the most hyped for this update ever because obviously there's a bunch of Rampart stuff. I'm super in, uh, into just getting into this. So we're going to jump into it and then we'll go over and check the good old patch notes over on uh, the website. So let's go. Oh, the new POI. Rampart's Big Maud. What's that? Oh. A white Raven. Spooky. Place is covered in paint. Evolution collection event. Oh, Rampart did get a massive wrench. That's her heirloom. She is literally a massive wrench. All right. Okay. I hope it has some very cool animations. First look, there's one of the legendary... She's got a legendary skin. She looks like a knight. Oh, she's got the the helmet like you always see in in, in the uh the, the first trailer where we met her. Ooh. Okay. New Wraith skin. Oh, that actually looks very cool with a matching Sentinel skin. Wraith Wraith. Uh, no. New Bangalore skin. First person view model looks awesome on this one. You Pathfinder skin? Wait, what's going on? There's so much. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. Rampart buff anywhere? What is that skin there? Oh. That's amazing big, but it had a peacekeeper sound effect. That's hilarious. Don't you know I'm a bloody artist? <laughs> Rampart's big Maud town takeover. She can carry it. That's her buff. There it is. There it is. Look at that. She can carry it, dude. She can carry it. Okay. As expected. A lot of people were expecting this to happen. Ooh, look at that. There's like a mod shop thing. This looks like a cool POI. Okay, new Octane skin, looking very cool. Bangalore and Lifeline skin. Ah, oh, look at that Fuse skin, dude. And wow, nice. Oh my goodness. Rampart's Extravaganza Arenas takeover. Okay. Uh, oh, here's the buff. Okay. You can, you can. You can carry the turret. Evolution collection event. And there's this whole tease for Bloodhound's lore again. This is Ill of Ooh, coming September 14th. Okay. Now, the most exciting thing. Let's go check out the patch notes and a closer look at that heirloom. All right, here we go. Evolution collection event patch notes. Run and gun with a new tent takeover, Rampart's heirloom, a new twist on arenas, and tons more updates in the Evolution Collection event. Okay, limited time cosmetics, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rampart's bringing entrepreneurship to the arenas, and Rampart's arenas extravaganza of special discounts. Okay, um, a brand new heirloom for Rampart with a gumball dispenser, and an upgrade to Sheila. Okay, big mod. Okay. After a few rough starts for previous shops, Rampart is pulling out the big guns of the mod shop of her dreams. Finally, she'll be able to show the Outlands and Big Sister what she's been capable of creating. Looks like quite a fun POI. Want to know what's inside? Rampart's custom shop, shop located near Lava City Mod's Edge. We're going to have to accommodate a few teams. Inside the shop, you can use collected materials to purchase Rampart's custom modded paintball weapons from the new Vendit machines. These guns custom it a bit, but they come fully kitted at different tiers. That's awesome, dude. There's also extra lore sprinkled around. Nice. Okay. That's awesome. Arena's takeover event. I was hoping for a normal Battle Royale event. We've had a ton of Arena's content, so... Ah, uh, that's okay. Rampart has slipped into Arena's and offering modded weapons at special discounts. These markdown modded weapons replace their base version for the match, making lower tiers of the weapon available. Okay. I mean, a little bit disappointing. But hey, let's move on to the heirloom here. The Rampart heirloom, which honestly... was quite... Surprise about so soon. Okay, we've got a li nice little gumball dispenser animation, you know, a nice little thunk. I hope that it has some good running animations. I mean, I, I can't complain. It's a rampart heirloom. Come on. 
Um, we've got the typical prize tracker stuff, a free lifeline skin, triple tech, and new wingman legendary skin. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Uh, and also we've got the new discounts, you know, the discount deals. Centurion's coming back. They're teasing a ton of Bloodhound lore. It's definitely coming. I love the way she's got the, um, the helmet now. Really, really cool. This Lost Treasures Revenant skin's back. Gibraltar skin is back. Watson and Caustic skin as well as the whitelisted Crypto skin are back. Uh, that's interesting. Finally, uh, look, Event Limited Cosmetics Wraith, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Really cool legendary skins. I like that Wraith skin for sure. Balance changes. Okay, here we go. This is what we really came for. Sheila has gone mobile. Rampart will now be able to run around with Sheila out and shoot while walking. The spin-up is longer and she only gets one magazine in this mode. Once Sheila is out, you can put it away and pull it back until you run out of ammo or hit the cooldown time. At any point, you can still place Sheila down for your teammates to use. Once placed, it has finite reload and acts just like the previous version. You cannot pick it back up. Okay, so you shoot it first and then you put it down. A legend based solely on defensive position is hard to get right in Apex Legends. We think Rampart has a place as the ultimate defensive legend. We wanted to give her a little bit more ability to be reactive and push with her team. Okay, um, <clears throat> nothing else, just her ultimate change. I was hoping for, like, something to do with her tactical maybe, but hey, I am very excited to see that. Then we've got um, visual effects similar to the pulse on low, but alt placement added to increase visibility for when a totem is placed. So you place the totem and it'll make a big noise, I guess, and like a big radius effect. That's pretty cool. Reduce jump pad horizontal distance by 10 to 15%. Reduce the rate of octane stim regen from 1.5 to 1.5. Oh, so that's supposed to be the normal rate. It was a bit of a bug, I guess. So they reduced the horizontal distance. They're really trying to like nerf the Revenant Octane combo. Really cool. When Bloodhound pings a clue from the past, it will show their teammates in quick chat how long ago the event took place. Pretty cool. Compound bow, uh, draw speed slightly reduced. Arrows per brick increased. Arrows per inventory. So they kind of buffed it a little bit. Uh, and they have. Okay. They've buffed the hemlock a little bit, the hip fire. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. ADS strafe speed increased to shotgun strafe speed while shatter caps are enabled. That's a nice change for the 30 30 repeater. They've reduced the L star ammo, uh, increased the L star arena price, changed the overheat time and the cool of time. Shotgun damage multipliers changed as well. ADS time decreased on the triple take. Uh, let's see. We can only be out of bounds for 15 seconds now. Swapping from red to gold shield with more health no longer requires a long press. That's very nice. Evo shields and death boxes no shall that show their health. Very, very cool. Early lever warning has been improved to stop people accidentally leaving. Added character portraits to detected widget for recon characters. Pretty cool stuff. All right. I mean, I'm super hype. Rampart, heirloom, and buff. Like, she's like one of the lowest picked legends. I was really surprised about that. I don't know. Super hype. September 14th. Be here. We're going to play some Rampart for sure. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.